Hi everyone, this is our last video that we are going to calculate the modulus of toughness and modulus of uh, uh, resilience. So before starting our uh, before starting our analysis, we need to we need to do some stuff. Okay, what stuff? First thing is that we need to see what's modulus of resilience and modulus of toughness. So modulus of resilience is actually the uh, the area under the strain versus stress plot which we are calculating it numerically okay and modulus of toughness is the until the yield stress and modulus of toughness is actually the area under the the whole area under the uh, SS plot okay so there is a problem here is that the, the, the problem is happening because we have three loadings and unloadings here so in fact if you go ahead and integrate this plot until the yield stress which was here almost and integrate the whole area under this plot you are actually calculating the the, the integration here seven times okay so because we have one loading you you're calculating once and then unloading again one loading unloading one loading unloading what you need to do is that you need to calculate the, the area uh, for the last loading okay so how can we find it well it's easy uh, let's zoom out zoom in a little bit on the X direction let's have it 2000 okay you'll see that the last loading started from from the sample 117 1160 let's say 1160 okay so what you need to do is that you need to actually come to your raw data you need to go to p1160 and then whatever below this is really good for you whatever above it is not really good for you so you need to copy whatever it is below this so how we can copy that again shift control down arrow will give you a very good copy it will, will give you uh, uh, you can actually select the uh, the entire data from that point to the end of the, the end of the column okay so I will I'll call this one as uh, last loading data data okay and okay I had to I had to copy paste it first then then so eleven sixty whatever below And then I come here and then paste it so this is actually the nothing but just the last loading okay so uh, how we can work with this with these um, data so we had the formula like this we need to write down this formula okay and then sum them up so so how we are dealing with this formula is that first we are neglecting the summation sign here we are calculating each of these guys okay and then when we are done we are summing them up together okay so uh, let's say for for this is for you ut because it's easier than the other one and then you are will, will do it okay so let's say the formula was what 0 0.5 multiplied by sigma i plus 1 plus sigma i multiplied by epsilon 2 minus epsilon 1 that was that was the data okay then we're gonna go ahead to the uh, to the last column so the columns here are 4462 okay so I'll click on this 
I will come here 4462 I'll hold the shift and then uh, pressing enter will give me all of the what all of the empty cells for this one then I'll go to the fill series or the fill and then this will give me this will actually fill all of those empty all of those empty cells with these numbers okay so for calculating the modulus of toughness I need to add these ones up but there is a problem here the last column is giving me a very, very odd number I will the, the last row actually I need to neglect this one okay so I will come here I'll say ut is actually equals to I'm using the sum function in uh, in Excel and then uh, uh, I'm sorry uh, Uh, let's say let's let's first go ahead and, uh, and delete the last one okay that's this is the easiest w way to do it okay I deleted it manually I'll come back uh, to the beginning okay right now I'm going to use the sum function sum function and then I'll choose this column the whole of it and then when I'm pressing enter it's just giving me ut which is uh, which is actually what what uh, modulus of toughness okay modulus of toughness it's in megapascal by the way uh, what about the modulus of resilience modulus of the resilience is the same formula until the until the what until the uh, epsilon y yeah uh, until the yield point what was the, what was our epsilon y our epsilon y was uh, 0 0.00355 okay let's find where this one is in this column okay so I'll use the match function I'll use uh, 0 0.00255 where in here and then I'll say exact match okay it's giving me 88 it means that I need to go uh, to row 88 to on this to see it so you see that this is this is my epsilon y Okay. so it means that for finding the modulus of resilience I need to add up all of these numbers okay until uh, until row 88 so so what I need to do is I need to use the sum function and then again this one until uh, 88 okay and this is my modulus of resilience again it is in it is in megapascal okay so that that was easy that was not difficult uh, another thing is how to find the ultimate strain and ultimate stress stress which is in again megapascal again okay, and, and actually a strain doesn't have any units but it's just mi millimeter over millimeter which doesn't have any unit okay so what you need to do is that you need to find the maximum the easiest way again to use to find this one is using a built-in function which is called max and then you you find the maximum in this column and this is your ultimate stress okay so how you can find the ultimate strain well you first need to find where this one is in this column okay 
so what you need to do is that you need to use a match function again but here is a very very uh, well it's it's an important uh, point because this one has some kind of round offs and stuff here if you use this one okay your your function cannot find it in this row in this column okay it will give me no number okay so in in order to let's have it even even with the all those uh, 0, 0, 0048 still it's giving me no no number okay not available so in order to solve this problem you you will use a trick okay what's the trick the trick is like use the same formula here instead of having the value which was round off use the max function here maximum of this guy which column and then where to find it again in the same column and the exact match so if you put this one it'll give you the number the row 2795 uh, so if you want to find it you go to uh, 2795 this is your maximum stress and this is your uh, I'm sorry and this is your maximum strain or uh, ultimate strain I'm sorry it was not maximum strain it's ultimate strain because maximum strain is happening at the rupture okay so that's it that's really easy and then uh, for for rupture rupture strain and rupture um, stress which is again in megapascal you uh, you will go ahead to the last column of your data okay and these two numbers are giving you are giving you actually the uh, uh, rupture strain and rupture stress okay and these two numbers are giving you their uh, let's have this one a little bit okay okay these two numbers are giving you the uh, uh, rupture strain and rupture uh, stress okay so <coughs> excuse me uh, the other important thing to calculate is actually the ductility ratio by definition ductility ratio is actually the ratio of uh, epsilon u over epsilon y ultimate strain over ultimate stress okay so your ductility would be what would be uh, uh, would be this amount over uh, your yellow strain okay this will give you the ductility of the steel uh, it should be around this uh, any number around 57 56 58 would be a good number okay and <coughs> another important thing is uh, percent of elongation so you have epsilon r it's fairly easy to calculate lr from epsilon r okay and or you can you can actually use the uh, the data in the table it's it's really easy and the an another point is uh, uh, another point is actually what another point is uh, finding the loads from the sigmas from the stresses so anytime you wanted to find the load 
use the definition of the engineering stress and then multiplying them by the initial cross-section it will give you the load for ultimate load for uh, yield load for rupture load for anything okay and at last you need to find the bulk modulus which you have E young modulus and then you have a new from this table and then it's just like a substitution it's really the it's really really easy so I will leave the rest of them as an exercise for you guys and that was all the thing that I wanted to cover today and uh, I hope that uh, these videos can help you guys uh, to save some time I've heard a lot of students complaining about the amount of time that they are spending uh, on the on these lab reports mostly because you guys are not familiar with the how to use Excel okay so if you had any questions please uh, send an email to me at tsardarmehni at sign smu uh, dot edu I will I will post this uh, I'll post this Excel file uh, so you can you guys can can have this one as well along with the uh, videos uh, so it might be helpful and I wish you guys the best of luck in your studies and uh, have a nice day